Today we're going to build our first Max for Live device in under a minute. Open your Ableton session and load a sample into an audio track. Head over to the menu on the left and click Max for Live. Since I have an audio sample I want to use, I'm going to drag the blank Max audio effect plugin into my track. And if I were to build a Max MIDI effect, it would go on a MIDI track and so on. Open the patch by clicking on this button. From here, I'm going to copy and paste this awesome Gen creepy reverb patch from the examples in Max and put it in between the plugin and plug out objects. Once that's done, let's name and save our new device to the Max Audio Effect folder and close the patch. But wait, it's so ugly. UI time! Let's add a live dial, which is going to control the rotate attribute. Right click the dial and go to the inspector, which is where we'll customize our UI. Change both names to rotate, and I'm going to change the range to between 0 and 1, since that's where I think the feedback sounds the coolest. Let's add a few more dials to control the decay, damping, and fluctuate attributes, and use the inspector to make changes accordingly. Now select your dials, right click them, and hit add to presentation. Go down to the bottom menu bar, click the presentation button, and rearrange your device as you please. Make sure open and presentation is enabled in the inspector so your patch will always open the way you've set it up. And now we have our first Max for Live device.